A couple of years ago, Laura and I gave ourselves a massive challenge. It was to tackle 365 activities all around New Zealand in 365 days. And it took us to so many different exceptional places around the country. And this place that we're visiting today is one of the most, let's say, brilliant, shiniest places. It's the Govet Brewster slash Lane Lie Center in New Plymouth. It's a fantastic building that hides inside fantastic pieces of art. You can check it out at the end of this video when I'm going to be answering the questions that we received the first time we published this story. In the meantime, enjoy it! As you can definitely see, Robin needs either a bag on his head or a haircut. <laughs> so luckily, the owner of Jet Charm Barbershop said to Robin last night, Oh yeah, we'll give you a haircut. Just come round tomorrow morning. Thank God, I say. The penultimate episode of our art crawl is turning Robin himself into a piece of art. This includes shaving his head so much so that you can just see his scalp on the side of his head and having like a tuft of hair on the top. This, ladies and gentlemen, is fashion, I think, or art. The highlight of this haircut is when the barber gets a shearer, literally, <laughs> a, she a sheep shearer, and starts shearing. Robin's eyebrows <laughs> because Robin I don't know if you've noticed from any of the videos but he has a prominent facial feature and that is his massive eyebrows and they were so sassy they needed to be tamed I have to be honest, this is by far the fanciest haircut I ever had in my life. So the guy kind of analyzed my hair and my hairline and see where the fluffy parts are so he can work around them. I don't really know what he does, but he decides which haircut is going to be good for me because my approach when I go to something that fancy, you just do whatever you want. When I leave, you tell me I look good. Stupid face, just less hair. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the Outside of the Gobbo Brewster art gallery looks really amazing and obviously when you see the outside you're like I've got to see what's on the inside and the good thing about this art gallery is you can for free. The museum has a temporary exhibition dedicated to camera-less photography. They did it as like a thing, just like a thing at school once. We all went into this dark room and tried a bit. We did it with like rulers and things and just placed them on the paper and it was really cool. Like, I think I still have the picture I, I did. So cameraless photography is basically taking back photography to how it has been invented. In short, photography was invented when there were a guy in the Middle East that poked a hole in his tent and basically made a print of what can be seen through the hole onto a canvas because only one small part of the canvas was exposed to sunlight and the rest was completely dark and that's how photography was invented so there's many different ways to do cameraless photography one of the most common one is to use a photographic paper and just do an exposure so basically you take a sheet of paper you put something on it let's say you put a tape or you put a baby a lot of people just do that with baby for whatever reason you put a baby on this paper you leave it in the dark room you just open the curtain and close them and the photographic paper will react to the, the exposition to the light and when you take the baby out and then you have <laughs> you have the photographic paper left with the prints of the baby and the rest will be white for instance so that's one of the way to do um, cameraless photography the exhibitions in the art gallery change four times a year so what we are talking about now is gonna change by the time you guys get there but Surely today's episode will show you like a hint of what the art gallery is all about. So we're walking through the whole exhibition and see all the different ways people have done cameraless photography. You know, there's some of them where they slice things in very thin slices and then run electricity through them uh, on top of paper. I mean, just some like, they go to great length to take a picture without using a camera, which I find fascinating and really, really cool. So 
So we go back to the Ducks and Drake's hostel. I'm making a vegetarian curry. And then we play a few games with some of the people that are also staying in the Ducks and Drake's hostel. Um, Robin bought a game from an op shop, Cranium card game, and we're playing that and having a lot of fun. And it's really cool. So we're just having a chilled night socializing. Today we are going to the Govert Brewster Len Lai Art Gallery. So Govert Brewster Len Lai Art Gallery. From now on I'm going to say Art Gallery because I can't repeat that. But I want to say it once. So Govert Brewster Len Lai Art Gallery. You're still saying it wrong. Really? It's the Govert Brewster Art Gallery slash Len Lai Center. All right. <laughs> That's what I said. So, Govert Brewster, Len Lai <laughs> slash Art Center. What? Govert Brewster Art Gallery slash Len Lai Center. Govert Brewster Art Gallery slash Len Lai Center. Here you are. It's, it's that simple. Alright, so let's be honest, most of the comments on the video were about the haircut that I got at the end of the video. Um, yeah, that was kind of uh, hilarious, it's, it's artsy, uh, they did my eyebrows as well, I mean like it was just... It was just fun and I'm gonna sport this haircut for the foreseeable future um, because, well, I'm, you know, on the road most of the time, so prepare uh, yourself, uh, you know, like this is what I look like now. Um, I have to say, um, in the year since this video, I have not uh, gone back to this haircut um, and I have not got back to this headdress either. So I went with something way more traditional. Um, but it's always cool to try new things, right? I'm always the kind of guy that says, you know, if you haven't tried it, you can't, you know, know if you like it or not. Well, I tried it and I know if I like it or not. So yeah, most of the comments on the video were about that. So just let's just put that out of the way, um, you know. It was all about my haircuts. And yes, Laura did laugh that much at it. She was actually crying laughing at it, which is which is quite cool. Um, but yeah, so New Plymouth is an extremely arty town. I feel like we've shown you like so many museums and, and, and you know, even art crawl. Like, you know, yesterday when we see all the art galleries and all that. And even that, uh, you know, uh, Len Lai Center, which is kind of an exhibition center. It, it's quite a fantastic town if you have uh, an art fiber within you, if you want to hang out there, which is which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, uh, the last question that we also get was uh, from someone asking if it was, uh, like how much it was to get into that museum. So uh, yes, a couple of years ago when we did it, it was actually free to get in, but now you actually have to pay to get in. Um, so unless you are a New Plymouth resident, I think when you're a New Plymouth resident, you get it, you get in for free. But anyone from out of town or any uh, foreign travelers will have a small fee to pay in. That helps them pay the bill, you know, pay for the exhibition. It's a fantastic building, but you know, that doesn't come cheap. I can, you can see it as soon as you get there. But it's definitely worth the money and I don't think it's too much. I think it's around the $15 mark. So I think it's still kind of a very reasonable thing to do. Plus the weather is so unpredictable in New Zealand. It's a great, uh, you know, it's a great backup plan if you're around the New Plymouth area. Uh, if it starts raining, get yourself in that museum. It's it's quite a nice place to visit. Uh, all right, if you do have any questions about traveling in New Zealand, you can put it in the comments of any of our videos and we pick that back up. We either answer it in the video or we just answer it to you right right away just on the, on the live chat. If you feel like hanging out with us, um, we, we kind of cool people to hang out with. I know sometimes we sound a little bit annoying, but we kind of cool people to hang out with. Um, we sit on the couch every single week at 8 a.m. on Sunday, New Zealand time, and we talk about traveling in New Zealand for about an hour. We take questions from the live chat, so you just pop in, you ask your questions, let's say you're planning your trip, you want to know where to go, what to do, just come and chat with us. It's really awesome, and uh, yeah, 8 a.m., uh, every Sunday in New Zealand time. So that's probably on Saturday night on your side of the world. And if you feel like you want to pick more of your of our brain without having to talk to us, you can do that as well. You can check out www.nzpocketguide.com. It's the first link in the description below. And uh, there is all our knowledge there. We have written the largest travel guide ever made to New Zealand. And we make it available fully free to all of you guys so uh, www.nzpocketguide.com check it out it's quite awesome in the meantime thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day see you next time bye bye